In working with a view camera, you don't have the luxury of taking a hundred photographs and figuring out which one you want to use later. So a fair amount of thought has to go into uh, the making of each photograph. And for me, there is one right spot to put the tripod in every situation. I'm Paul Wainwright. I'm a large format black and white photographer from Atkinson, New Hampshire. And I'm doing a project with Colonial Meeting Houses, uh, of which the building in back of me is the Colonial Meeting House in Pelham, Massachusetts. The Meeting House in Pelham was built in 1743. It's just amazing to me that uh, a community of basically farmers uh, with some craftspeople were able to put up a, such a large building. It really was a community effort. Well, the meeting houses were built as places of worship and places of government and a place for the town to come together. And in colonial times, these were not separate concepts. People moved here for religious reasons. Colonialists were, were generally dirt poor, yet to them, this was their cathedral. The Puritans came from England and they knew all about cathedrals, and they did not like cathedrals. As a matter of fact, uh, Oliver Cromwell and all of his buddies in England, before they left and came to the New World, they broke all the glass in the cathedrals. So the Puritans, you see, the re reason they're called Puritans is they wanted to be pure and not have any sense or smell of Roman Catholicism. So in the structures that they built, they did not have stained glass. One of the things I like about the view camera is the image is upside down on the ground glass. There's a certain intimacy to dealing with an image under the dark cloth because when you're under there, it's just me and the image, and uh, uh, I really begin to fall in love with, with the photograph even before I've exposed the film. Meeting houses are white, and that's, that's one of the characteristics that I like to uh, make sure is included in my photograph, that they absolutely glow. In order to get that sense of glow uh, in a white building, it's uh, a multi-step process. When you're exposing the film and light metering the film, uh, you need to set the exposure to capture that uh, in just the right way. The development of the film needs to be just right, and uh, perhaps most importantly, the printing of the film, the contrast settings that can be uh, adjusted in the enlarger uh, need to be chosen. Uh, to get that building to just glow. Working with a 4x5 camera is a slow process, which I enjoy, but I enjoy darkroom work even more. Uh, I like the slowness of it. I like the methodical pace of working with photographic paper and chemicals. The reason I went to Pelham with my camera was it is supposed to be a, a pristine, unchanged uh, meeting house. I'd seen a photograph of it in a book, and uh, I was not disappointed uh, when I got there, at least with the outside. Uh, the inside does not uh, excite me very much because it was used as their town hall for many years. Uh, a floor has been added inside and offices have been built. So I did not photograph the inside. 
Uh, but the outside to me is uh, artistically interesting. It still maintains that uh, character of orderliness and regularity that existed in the lives of the people who built it. So this is the final print from the Pelham, Massachusetts meeting house. Since I'm a zone system photographer, is I like to try to get the whites uh, in the building to really stand out. And uh, technically the way that's done is you make the things around the whites darker. You can't make the white any whiter than the base of the paper, uh, but you can make it appear whiter by increasing the contrast appropriately in the print. This is the Colonial Meeting House in Sandown, New Hampshire. It's one of my favorites because it's not been changed a whole lot since when it was built in 1773 or 1774. It pretty much looks the way it did when the Puritans were here. Meeting houses uh, always had three doors. Uh, the one in the center is uh, almost always facing south, uh, not for any religious reasons, but for a very practical reason. These buildings were not heated in the wintertime, and the long wall being south was always a good way to get warmth and light into the buildings. That door on the south side was called the Door of Honor. It was the door through which uh, the minister and his family uh, would enter, uh, and any honored out-of-town guests uh, would come in through that door. The women would enter through the door on the east end of the building, and the men would come through this door on the west end. Families would sit together in box pews uh, on the first floor, and uh, single men and single women would sit in opposite balconies on either side. And the slaves uh, had special pews on the far corners of each balcony where they would sit. The Sandown Meeting House has a wonderful key, which is the original 200 plus year old key that still works and still fits the lock. Oh, I just get a sense of wonderment every time I come into one of these buildings. I wonder so much about the people who built them and worshipped here and held town meetings here. They're just fascinating places to visit. One of the central features in a colonial meeting house is always the high pulpit with a pulpit window behind it. The central focus of the Puritan religion was preaching and the reading of the word. There's no altar. There's no stained glass. You will not find statues to Mary. You won't even find a cross on the wall. What you do find in the Colonial Meeting House, though, is wonderful woodwork. The craftsmanship of the people that built these places is just outstanding. And uh, to think that all of this was built by hand, there were no machine tools used at all uh, in those days. So all of the seats, all of the doors, all of the moldings, those were all planed and cut by hand. I think I'm drawn more to the work inside the meeting houses than I am to the exteriors. And I get a wonderful sense of space and light when I'm inside of one of these buildings. I always use just natural light. I never use any artificial light. Uh, I think that would destroy the feeling that I get inside of these buildings. And furthermore, most of them don't have electricity to begin with. So uh, you have to use natural light.
There's only a handful of these old colonial meeting houses uh, in existence in uh, New England that have not been substantially changed. And I hope that my work photographing them uh, brings some of my excitement uh, about these structures and about their history and their artistic beauty to a wider audience. Thank you.